to think about agriculture, food security, agriculture, and the environment uh, in the future, let's say in 2020 and beyond. And that really requires a really a concerted effort of training and developing the next generation of agricultural scientists. And in terms of rice, which is, as we all know, most important crop in the world, we need a new generation of rice scientists. And the ERI has done perhaps the most outstanding job in the world in training rice scientists. I was a PhD student under the ERI Scholar Program. The training from that program have built a solid foundation for my current research on rice blast, which is the most devastating disease of rice. I think rice has become essential a lifeline for many people in the developing country. And by 2050, there will be another two to three billion people who will eat rice as the stable food. I think it's important to raise more funds to support the rice research. I learned a lot from Yui, which had an important impact in my career in China. And then public study is critically important in a cultural development. I consider Yui's graduate and postdoc program has high return to investment and high impact in developed countries. I work with the leading scientists on my field of uh, specialization. In that case, in, during that time, I was working on upland rice. And the best thing uh, for me was that I can interact with different scientists, leading scientists, at, uh, not only uh, in Asia, but also other regions of the world. So as uh, a payback, uh, I'm now actively working with uh, students uh, from the Philippines as well as uh, from other parts of the world like uh, Myanmar. We have a student, Mr. Aymin, from uh, Myanmar. I'm a member of uh, his advisory committee. He really provides fully equipped research laboratories, screen house, and a very nice free work. You can learn from the professor like this, Dr. Yosei Hernandez, because you can learn not only the theory, what he teach, but also you can also learn his expertise and his experience. We can reapply the techniques, knowledge, experience that we gather from Erie. This is the best opportunity uh, for the scientists because the, uh, IRI is providing excellent opportunity to us to pursue MS and PhD as well as the postdoc fellowship to update our technical knowledge as well as the skill as a professional in the rice research. I will be able to improve the productivity in rice sector in Sri Lanka. I can advise to the uh, scholars they are looking for the scholarship program uh, if they need to do the rice science, uh, rice research, this is the miracle place for doing rice research in the world. We have a couple of thousand scientists working on rice. And every of these institutes has someone training Yuri, believe it or not. In every province, I can assure you. Uh, in Fujian province, for instance, the director of Crop Sciences Institute and um, some major national programs in China, the 973 programs, the chief scientists are Erie scholars. And uh, as you interviewed Dr. Ji Kun Huang, who is one of the leading agriculture economists in the world nowadays, and uh, was Erie scholar. And, uh, so every province in China. So China now has a, a about let's say 97, 98% self-sufficiency rate for rice, okay? And the Irish scholars have made that possible.